So in this video, I want to share with you the three ways that you can easily get started with using AI, but specifically ChatGPT. So if you're a real estate agent, you likely have already been made aware or bombarded by the AI revolution, whether it's just from finding out on your own or because your brokerage has been talking about it and is starting to develop their own tools, which most of the big, big box brokerages have already started their own AI initiatives, of course. It's important for you to understand that it's not a gimmick and that it's not going away anytime soon. So if you've been on the fence about how do I get started, what do I need to know about AI, then this is the video that's going to be for you. So the biggest fear I'm seeing right now is just the fear of the unknown and not being familiar with this kind of technology. And if, again, for my usual audience on this channel who's of an older age who didn't grow up with this stuff, they're wondering, well, how do I implement this into my business? And I would even actually say to take a step back and look at it from a, how do I implement this into my life? Because in real estate, we're so used to being bombarded with gimmicks and tools and all kinds of things that want to charge you an auto charge, auto debit 1995 on your credit card every single month, right? And so, it's important for you to understand that this isn't one of those widgets. This is one of those transformational times in our life where we really need to pay attention. Um, even again, outside of our business, we need to be seeing this as something that can be applicable to our lives on a daily basis. And as much as I'd love to help everyone, the fact of the matter is there are some of you that are just going to be fearful and won't take action. And that can be said for all kinds of different things, right? So the ones I really want to speak to today, and hopefully this video is reaching you, is for those that are on the fence, you really do understand that AI is not going away, that it's uh, a real technology, and it's really on the cusp of changing the way we go about our lives, frankly. But I want to keep it super practical. So I'm going to share the simplest and easiest way to get started with AI. And what kind of AI video would this really be if I didn't start with the obvious, which is OpenAI and specifically ChatGPT? Without question, you must have heard about ChatGPT unless you're living under a rock because it's going to be almost two years now since OpenAI launched ChatGPT. And hopefully by now you've gone in and experimented and played around with it. But if you haven't, that's perfectly fine because this is the video that will hopefully get you to understand that you need to take that first step. And that first step is simply to open up an account with ChatGPT or better said, going to openai.com and opening an account uh, to get access to ChatGPT, which by the way is free. Uh, I do uh, happen to have a premium subscription, which is $20 a month, which of course is still very nominal. Uh, and it gives me access to a little bit more advanced processing of the workflows that we do here uh, amongst myself and my team. But for your purposes, especially if you're brand new, just having the free account is perfectly fine. And as a matter of fact, OpenAI has recently uh, announced that the majority of the features that are available on the platform are available uh, through the free subscription. So you really don't need much beyond that. So for those of you who may not be familiar with ChatGPT, it's essentially an AI chatbot that you can communicate with in a very human-like conversational manner. So just like you would ask somebody a question or if you can think of, you know, anytime you've been on technical support online through their website and you're chatting with somebody, uh, although now there's a lot of those are now artif artificially intelligent chatbots, uh, you're probably used to going in there and speaking to a customer support representative. So it's very much like that. It's a human-like interface where you can ask it basically anything because it's trained on the whole of the internet. And it's that very practical and engaging way that we can use it, which makes it an excellent assistant. So number one is content writing. Content writing is something we as real estate agents need to do or should be doing on a regular basis in terms of all of the marketing that we're putting out there for customers to know about us, reach us, or obviously also when we're looking to market a property. Content writing is everything from blog posts to writing articles to social media posts, whether they're on LinkedIn or Instagram, Facebook, all of these different um, avenues or, or social media channels or channels in general are great places for really good content writing. And again, this could be content writing about you personally as a real estate agent, or certainly when it comes to marketing any listings you have, or marketing an area that you serve, or a community that you serve, a lifestyle that you serve. So you can put this out online and reach your target audience. So for instance, you can ask ChatGPT, what are the 
top things to do in the summer here in Stewart, Florida, which is a town that I live in. It will start to use all of its data and all of its knowledge to generate a list of things that you can then use and you can then ask it follow-up questions. So if it generated three or four or five or 10 different things that it suggested were, uh, were interesting things to do in the area, you can ask follow-up questions and continue to have a conversation. That's the most important thing is, is that you use it as an assistant, as, as if you were talking to somebody else in the room uh, and you can say, well, tell me more about that or tell me more about that beach or tell me more about that community. And then it'll just go into more detail about it. And at any given time, you can just say, can you write me a Facebook post about that beach? And it will. And you can use that Facebook post then in or, or that output in a Facebook post and actually, you know, uh, maybe tie a nice picture that you may have um, with that post. And there you go. You're done. Now, there is a caveat to that, because although it is that simple, the important point to remember here is that the output that you get from ChatGPT is only as good as the input. So if you did something as simple as what should I do to be a good real estate agent, you're going to get a very broad and general and generic answer. But if you ask ChatGPT, what should I do as a real estate agent in Stewart, Florida that wants to reach people in New Jersey that move to Florida and occasionally vacation here, but would love the idea of buying a property here in the future? that type of specific request is going to get you a much better result now of course that's just one strategy but the strategies are endless you know what is your niche who are you serving have those conversations with chat gpt so that you can really get some interesting ideas as to how to promote yourself what kind of content to put out and this is, makes it so much easier which is why i love to call it my own personal assistant the second way I want to share with you today is one that we've been using here uh, quite a bit, and I use it with my clients and also with clients that are outside of real estate as well. So um, when they have to create content to reach their target audience, one of the most powerful ways we use it is for creation of email newsletters. Now, if you're a good little agent, you've been keeping track of a wonderful database, a great CRM that you've nurtured, uh, that you have access to with 500, 1,000, 2,500, 10,000 people in there, hopefully, that you have nicely organized and you know who they are, whether they were buyers or sellers or whatever, and create specific content for them. And so before, if you were writing a new email newsletter, you'd have to keep it, you could get specific in some sense, but you had to, if you're only sending one to the masses, you really had to, you know, create more of a general one. But with ChatGPT, you can create 10 different versions of an email newsletter that are targeted and pinpointed towards a certain segment of your database, whether they were buyers, whether they were sellers, whether they were past customers, right? And so those slight tweaks allow you to create 10 times as many versions of an email newsletter as you could have before, whether you did it yourself or you had an assistant that you had to pay to do it. Now you can really magnify or amplify the, um, the volume and the quality as well of the newsletters that go out. So now you're not, because I know a lot of us, we just get busy. And so if you're the one that's doing everything and you don't have time to do it, this is a great way to get ahead and prepare your content so that when you um, are ready to send something out, you already have several versions of a newsletter or certainly targeted versions of that newsletter that can go out to the right person in your database. And then a personal favorite, of course, is property descriptions. And this was the catalyst for the creation of one of our services called My Listing Genie. And My Listing Genie, if you're not familiar, I'll, I'll, I'll link it below, but My Listing Genie essentially creates property descriptions and all the social media content around a particular listing. And so for the customers that we serve, they just send us the, the uh, address of the property of the new listing that they have, and we're able to create all of this content for them and send it back to them. So they'll have uh, long property descriptions, you know, the beautiful flowery um, storybook type uh, uh, descriptions that we create for our properties, as well as the shorter MLS compliant ones if necessary. And then all of the specific and platform specific content that is, that is necessary for you to, you know, really market a certain listing uh, to its fullest. So we have that for Facebook, for Instagram, uh, for LinkedIn, and of course for Twitter, or now X, uh, that is specific to those platforms. So now you can market those properties, specifically that listing uh, on those different platforms. So 
having property descriptions you know effective property descriptions to really drive interest into your listing is an incredible way to use chat gpt um, one of the ways that we use it is so that or the way i like to use it or the way i started using it uh, before we created my listing genie was to research that property has it been listed before uh, research tax records add it aggregate all that information because ChatGPT doesn't necessarily have all of the details of a property unless you gave it a, a link and that's something we'll talk about in in future videos because i like to make this a series so i wanted to start today with kind of the basics and if you follow along and like to subscribe um, that would be wonderful because then you can be notified when the new videos come out because the next couple two or three that we're going to do are going to be kind of more um you know three four five steps six seven eight nine steps uh and i want to keep them inside of three so that you're not overwhelmed and you really take action uh in a meaningful way because if i give you all 25 things that you can use chat gpt for you probably will get you know overwhelmed and and not take action and that's the worst thing because you want to take action but specifically with regard to property descriptions, be able to aggregate past information, uh, aggregate new notes because you visited the property, you know there's updates to the bathrooms, you know there's updates to the flooring in the, in the main room. Uh, they added a pool and the pool has a waterfall. You know, when we combine those uh, up to the minute notes because you were personally there, plus uh, information that already exists online about that property, we're able to feed that in so that we can create a wonderful property description. And that was the kind of the the uh, the start of us creating those property descriptions is we would aggregate that information, give it to ChatGPT, and it would create this wonderful storybook, lovely sounding description that we would then use to market the property. But my greatest tip to you is just to get started. Get an account if you don't have one already and start to play with ChatGPT. Spend some real time I promise you it's not time wasted. You're not goofing off. These are tools that you really need to become proficient at um, because they're not going away and they're gonna be a big part of how we live our lives moving forward. Hopefully you found this video helpful and if you'd love to be notified, make sure to hit that bell and subscribe to the channel because like I said, I'm gonna be sharing some more tips as to how we um, create content with ChatGPT and other AI tools, but I wanna do it from a very kind of beginner level for some of you that I know are probably feeling like you might be getting left behind. And that's the last thing I want for all of you. I want you to leverage this technology and thrive with what's coming. And if you are interested in the all done for you type of tool, make sure to check out the link below, mylistinggenie.com. And we'll see you on the next one.